What's up everybody, welcome to Money Management Channel. My name is Andrei and today I'm gonna to be doing an update on Dogecoin. And in today's video, first of all, I will show you where we are on the price chart and how we get there. Then I will continue with the fundamental news and I will show you that for now we are basically in the calm before the storm. And at the end of this video I will share my thoughts and my technical analysis and I will show you what should we expect next. And before we get into all of that, if you guys would like to earn two free stocks with Mumu valued up to $7,000, please check out that link in the description below. All you have to do is sign up for an account and deposit as little as $1. This is guaranteed free money. Full details you can see on the screen right now. So let's start with the price chart. I made my previous video right here, somewhere at this point, uh, and I've told you that we had uh, this uh, range of uh, support slash resistance at the price point of uh, roughly 0.085 dollars. And it is uh, the range, uh, let me show you on a daily time frame, it is the range of uh, previous uh, price action, it is the support slash resistance from the top of uh, this uh, point, uh, it is the top of uh, the first wave on a bigger scale and it was made on February, at the beginning of February 2021. And we have this range of uh, support slash resistance that works uh, for now for this asset. And uh, we have uh, major movement, uh, we had major movement to the downside on previous uh, week and uh, this asset lost about uh, 30, more than 40% of its value. And I have to say that uh, if we'll take a look on a bigger picture, we have uh, consistently lower lows and lower highs, but uh, we might find some kind of support. Uh, let me uh, connect these bottoms. Probably we might have something like this. And if it is the case, as you can see, we have only weeks below this range, uh, we might uh, see this uh, level as the level of support. But everything that is related to the technical analysis I will show you in just several minutes. And for now, let's continue with the fundamentals. And let's start with the total sentiment of the crypto market. Uh, for now, we are sitting at $1.3 trillion of total market cap. It is 1.81% increase over the last day. And uh, we have a slight increase uh, in value of all of the top coins. And uh, on the seven days period, we are still in red. And Ethereum has the highest losses. Uh, it lost about 11.18%, but Bitcoin lost about 1.86% on the seven days period. And it is the, in the consolidation phase that has uh, much less volatility. So, and let's continue with the Dogecoin numbers. For now, it has uh, the total market cap of $11.89 billion, and it is a slight increase uh, of 0.38%. Uh, and the total tradable volume is still moving south, and it lost about uh, almost 11% during the last 24 hours. And for now, it is uh, 536.6 million dollars and uh, we don't have uh, major news directly related to dogecoin uh, and uh, let me show you that right now we have uh, let me switch to hourly time frame and let me add uh, the bitcoin price action on this price chart as you can see dogecoin uh, mimics uh, the price of uh, the price action of bitcoin and this means the major catalyst uh, for all of the cryptos uh, right now is bitcoin and that's why we have to keep an eye on uh, bitcoin and let me show you its uh, recent news. We don't have uh, basically major news, uh, fundamental news uh, directly related to Bitcoin, but we have uh, some technical news and one of them is uh, this one. Bitcoin's three-day death cross reveals if BTC can move down to $20,000. And uh, I have to say that death cross uh, is quite strong signal for long-term holders, long-term investors. And uh, it, it is uh, the sign when 55 or 50 exponential moving average uh, crossed below the 200 exponential moving average. And I don't have uh, the three days uh, period right here, but I have a daily uh, time frame. And if I remove uh, Bitcoin price section, we have uh, exactly the same crossover but it was made on December the 5th for Dogecoin. And uh, for Bitcoin, let me switch to Bitcoin price section, we had this crossover on uh, January the 10th. And for now, we are in this uh, massive downtrend and uh, that's why we have to be very cautious with the next leg because uh, uh, Bitcoin is also in some kind of undecisive phase. And that's why, let me switch uh, to hourly time frame, because of uh, the death cross uh, across multiple time frames, we have more chances to hit lower price targets. 
And right here we have uh, basically interesting detail. If we connect uh, these bottoms on Bitcoin price chart, and if we connect these tops, and uh, on some uh, cases, in some cases we have uh, this as our week. Uh, if I switch to four hours time frame, you can see it more thoroughly. As you can see, we have uh, several touches of this range of resistance uh, with these uh, movements, and it is the bullish uh, sign. It is uh, the ascending triangle, and this triangle usually breaks to the upside. But on the other hand, uh, we have uh, this massive movement to the downside, and uh, this. Uh, formation also might have uh, this type of shape and it is the symmetrical triangle and uh, this uh, triangle might break either way and this means we are not out of the woods and we have to keep an eye on uh, Bitcoin price action because if it breaks uh, below this range of support and uh, the volume will be massive definitely it will confirm the next leg to the downside and this leads to much slower prices for Dogecoin but if it breaks uh, to the upside with increasing volume definitely it will uh, confirm the next uh, leg to the upside and at least for the short period of time we might see the bull run so and let's continue with the dogecoin itself and before we dive deep into the technical analysis please subscribe to my channel hit notification bell and hit the like button this helps me a lot so guys i have to say that dogecoin uh, has a uh, huge volatility in general but right now it is hovering in a very tight uh, range it is not more than about uh, six percent five to six percent during the last couple of days and this means uh, it is consolidating as well. And as you can see right here, we also have uh, most likely the symmetrical triangle on its price action. And uh, this is a quite bearish sign because uh, in general we are in downtrend. And this uh, triangle usually happens in the fourth wave. This means uh, we have at least one more leg on a smaller scale to the downside that should complete the entire wave. And uh, if it is the case, uh, we should uh, hit at least uh, the 0 0.07 dollars price point. And if it happens uh, with this support line, we might see this price action, this uh, breakout uh, in upcoming days, and we might hit uh, this range of support uh, probably on May 21st. And if it is the case, uh, if this range of support holds, I don't think that uh, this uh, yellow line, this horizontal yellow line at 0 0.0 uh, eight five dollars might hold because we had a lot of attempts uh, attempts to break it to the downside and we basically uh, this asset doesn't respect it pretty good this means we might break it to the downside but for now this uh, range of support uh, is a quite strong range and i have to say that we don't have much price action below this level and on a bigger picture definitely it is the uh, next leg to the downside and it is the lower low pattern but when we hit this range most likely we will have a bounce to the upside and this bounce in my opinion should unload the entire structure from this top and uh, it might be let me show to you if i pull the fibonacci retracement tool from this top to potential bottom of uh, 0.068 dollars we might uh, hit again uh, 0.092 dollars and from its uh, potential lowest point uh, this asset might bring you about 35 percent uh, of potential profits so, I think uh, from the technical standpoint that's it for now. If you like my video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel with notification bell. And see you guys and girls next time. Bye!